Sometimes I sit and wonder where my little life went wrong. These old jailhouse blues have got me singing this here song. Today I'm going to be going over the impact crate and the rough lend crate, just some different specifications of each one and uses for each one, um, what I like about each one, and just some cool details. Thanks for watching. So the Rufflin kennel is one piece roto molded, um, which simply means that the crate has no assembly and no bolts. You can see as my Dutch Shepherd enters it, she's going to have enough room to go all the way in and turn back around. Obviously in the truck, I would shut the door and she would lay down, which is primarily what we want our dogs to be able to do when they're traveling. So entering, turning around, standing up and laying down. Um, a big reason why I chose this crate for my truck is because the way it's built dramatically improves the odds of your dog surviving in an accident. I'm gonna show you guys some images of these crates going through wreckages and how they held up. So you guys can see in this accident, this car got hit from the side and the ruffling kennel is still in one piece and it's just fine. And in this next one, this truck flipped on its side and the kennel did take a little bit more damage, but the body of it's totally sound. So whatever in it was too. Door opens on both sides, which is also pretty cool. I ordered mine from Cabela's for $275 and I believe that just came with the front door option. That, but it does, if you could see that without her being in the way, it opens from both sides. You can get handles that screw into these screws here and tie down attachments. So if you're gonna put it in the bed of your truck, highly recommend this, this crate for any of that kind of travel. On the inside, you'll notice this channel that goes around the outside. So that's for a couple reasons. It's going to help catch dirt, debris, water, things that might fall off your dog or enter the crate with your dog. And this race part is actually pretty nice because not only does it help that debris go into that channel, but it also gives your dog a, um, a natural cushion. So it does have some flex to it. So I like this because if I'm traveling, I don't necessarily want to have to worry about having like a dirty dog bed to clean. And I know that she's still going to be comfortable on a long or short trip. The Ruffling kennel is size large it is 33 inches from the back wall to the front wall. On um, the side walls, 22 inches wide. And from the floor to the top, it's 26 inches. So as you guys saw, um, my dog was able to get in there and turn around and be more than comfortable. We've gone on short trips. We've gone on 12 hour road trips. And this is what I use. Okay, so I drive a crew cab Chevy Colorado and you guys can see how her ruffling kennel nicely fits in there with even just some space here. I did build a, just a board that it could sit flat on, but it's not necessary. But that's how it fits in there. So the impact crate is made in the USA. It uses 99% recycled materials and it's made of space grade aluminum. It ships fully assembled, meaning not that it's upright like this, but it collapses down and I'll show you guys how that works in just a second. It comes with a free vinyl pad. This is a 40 inch length one. So it is larger than the crate I just showed you just by a little bit. And for that, it's $8.99, but oftentimes you can get a good sale. I think I got this like $100 off of this one for some sale they were running. It has a lifetime warranty. And it, these handles here are military grade. So you guys can see those handles, military grade handles. Raven likes them. That has got good ventilation with all these perforations in it. So it's obviously very strong. I mean, strong enough to for me to sit on it and for her to stand on it. Good girl. So while this crepe may seem like a little bit much in a lot of different ways, I've heard it's really good for dogs that are jailbreakers and can break out of crates really easily. I've also heard it's good for dogs that have a lot of anxiety with being crated because it is spacious um, and it is pretty 
sound on the sides, although there's a lot of peak holes to see out of. It's just claimed that it helps dogs with their anxiety. And they actually do have one that is specifically for high anxiety dogs that I think has less visibility on the sides. You guys can see the door, just kind of pop that open. Works like that. And I'm gonna show you guys how it collapses and goes we're back up now. Putting this up, we're taking it down. You just simply open that up, unscrew it so it comes loose, folds open, do the same thing to the back side. And this piece slides in and out. There's little slats that I'll show you in a second that it slides into. So that's one separate piece. Do the same thing to the other side. Make sure this door is shut. You can see how it kind of buckles out, but that's okay, it's normal. You're gonna undo the tops in the same way that you did the sides of these, just twist out, come up, twist out, come up. There's two more on the back. And then you would simply hold up by the handle, let this drop. Don't go in there right now. Do the same thing on the back end. Hold it up. Let that part drop. And then I kind of like push, you kind of have to push them in, give them the, just direct them in the right direction so it folds in. Okay, so then it goes flat like that and you can reattach these. This crate is somewhere around 35 to 40 pounds and as I said they don't have like a on their site it's not like small medium large it goes by inches so this was the 40 inch one and then these you can see these little slots right here so you just place those on top and same thing with that so you'll just clamp that in there wrong way, clamp it in like that, do the same thing to the back. Okay, and then you're good to go. And it does have a handle on the top here so that you can lift it up. And this may also be a good one. You could take it on travel. I wouldn't necessarily recommend this one just for my personal opinion in the car. I mean, it'll this size would barely fit in a lot of trucks. Um, I did get it to fit in my truck, but I had to actually put it in there flat and then assemble it, you know, running between one door and the other door and popping it up. So it was way more complicated than just sliding a crate in. Um, I'll put it back up so you guys can see how it goes back up. So you take these pieces off, just like you put them back on. Undo these, or then you need to. How did I know you were going to do that? That's not helpful. <laughs> this is really easy to pop up when your dog is not uh, derailing everything. So. swing around to the back or whatever panel is closed last slide that up remember I said it will have those buckles on the side but don't worry about that so that panels up and secure we come to the front then and we would pull this one up 
So whenever, whenever you get to this point, you're gonna need to grab it by the handle and just hold it all the way up so that you can get the door to fit in properly. Plank that one, twist that one, plank that one. And then for the sides, I'm gonna show you how the sides go in right now so you guys can see those okay, slots. So you guys can see these slots right here. They are on the bottom and the top. So it doesn't really matter. You can go this way or you can go down into them. I'm gonna try it this way this time. And then you just clamp that one in. Clamp that one in. And then you do the same thing to the other side. Thanks for watching this video about the ruffling kennel and the impact crate, everyone. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to reach out and ask.